or 220 pounds in weight. High up in the southern highlands, there is a waterfall whose plunging waters covers the head of the valley in a fine misty spray. Originally, it was named Elton Plateau after a Victorian explorer. Elton passed through the area in 1870. Many years later, the area was taken over by the National Farming Company, NAFCO, for the purposes of growing wheat and rearing sheep. To preserve the beauty of the plateau, with its impressive area of flowering plants, it was suggested that the area be set aside in order to protect it. Then, in 2005, the government declared it a national park, along with a nearby ranch and Numbi Valley. Its chief attraction is the extensive range of flowering plants found there, including the unusual ground-growing orchid. The park has been nicknamed God's Garden due to the rare species found only there. Amongst botanists, Kitulo is referred to as the Serengeti of flowers. While Kitulo National Park is green all year round, Katavi National Park, during the dry season, totally dries up. In fact, Katavi, for most of the year, is very dry due to limited amount of rain that it receives. Katavi was set aside as a reserve to act as a refuge for wild animals who are displaced by flooding in the rainy season. It is also the breeding ground to many different animals. Surprisingly enough, Katavi National Park has the highest concentration of hippos in the country. Generally, crocs and hippos get along well enough. When it comes to hippos mating, fights between the hippos can be very fierce, endangering themselves and any animals nearby. In fact, it is unusual to find a bull hippo without battle scars. Usually, hippos stay in the water during the day, only coming out at night to feed. During the dry season, up to 200 crocodiles are forced to share one cave. Some 100 kilometers west of Katavi, rising up from the shores of Lake Tanganyika, we come to Mahale mountain range. This area has also been set aside as a national park, and it is here that we can search for man's closest living relative in the animal kingdom, the chimpanzee. They like to live in forest-covered hills and mountains and are agile creatures. With powerful arms and prehensile toes on their feet, they can climb trees easily. They feed mainly on fruits, berries and nuts, but will sometimes even kill and eat other animals, including monkeys. By following the lake northwards for some 100 plus kilometers, we arrive at Gombe Stream National Park. Forested hills and mountains rise up steeply from the lake shore. Gombe National Park is the smallest park in Tanzania, just 52 square kilometers in size. It is one of the very few parks in East Africa set aside for the protection of chimpanzees. Chimps maintain close family ties and usually travel in small groups through the forest.
Often, these groups meet where there's an abundance of food. Chimps, like humans, usually give birth to just one offspring at a time. Apart from chimps and monkeys, you are unlikely to see other large wild animals at Gombe, apart from the occasional bushbuck or wild pig. What we have seen is only a glimpse of the wealth of wildlife under the protection of Tanzania National Parks. To fully appreciate it, come and experience it for yourself. Our world heritage, our mutual enjoyment, and our responsibility. Karibuni.